looks like the leaves are starting to clear prop. Okay, we're up. about 200 feet and we're over in the new Concord area or over by my house flying out of one of my more favorite places when the field is cut it's very nice to fly starting to get some oranges and yellows and a few reds or burgundy about 25 miles an hour trims are about three About 30 miles an hour going with the wind now. That sun is really bright. Oh, I'm going to fly over to my daughter's house and wave at her. Now, if I was doing the risk reward for the Mark M. Amazon flight, I'd be right on top of these trees with no way out, but it would be beautiful and fun, but I'm too old to be beautiful and fun, I'm old and slow, and I've got it out to the right. over here and check the progress of the, the Amish furniture shop. You gotta watch these power lines. Wanna get over those. This is gonna be a church and a house and a uh, furniture factory.
down below. Straight ahead is the three cones, also known as Coatesville, which I think I talk about in every flight, but it seems like it's just right down the street. So clear tonight. Well, it's a, it's a hazy clear. I can see pretty far, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hazy, but clear. It's a little cool. Probably could have wore a couple jackets or a windbreaker on top of this jacket. Been flying for about uh, 12 minutes, for about uh, 280 feet in the air. I don't know if you can see the trees down there, that they're turning a nice color reds down there. You know, there's a couple flights that I like to uh, take. Uh, I like to do the 4th of July, which got uh, pretty much wiped out this year. I like to do a Halloween, and I like to do uh, a fall flight. Those are three kind of uh, flights that I really enjoy. 24 miles an hour, just slowly cruising here. Hope that you're liking the content. Been trying something new lately. I don't know if it uh, works for you guys, but uh, let me know. Uh, you know, my flights are almost an hour long uh, most of the time, and my videos are 12, 13 minutes, somewhere around in there. Some a little shorter, some a little longer. But uh, a lot of content you don't get to see because I cut them short. And so normally what i do is I'd have one flight, and out of that one flight I'd make uh, one video. Well, I've kind of changed a little bit, and I'm trying to do uh, two flights out of one video, kind of split it half and half. And uh, sometimes I'll use uh, takeoff footage from the same flight on the second video, or something maybe a little bit different. I haven't figured out uh, exactly, you know, if that's the way to go or not. But uh, let me know, uh, what do you think about uh, using uh, the same takeoff for the uh, second part of the video, or just, do you think I ought to just fade into uh, the middle of a video on the second video, uh, if that makes sense? Or we can go back to one video per flight. Crockett, he likes to see uh, side by side of the wing and the takeoff so that he can kind of compare what's going on. And uh, I do that sometimes, and then sometimes I just uh, do a 20 seconds or so many seconds of the takeoff and then 20 seconds of the, uh, the wing going up. I'm not sure if that works. But anyway, just trying to mix it up a little bit. W want to mention that I've got uh, 500 subscribers. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, started off three and a half or three years ago, whatever it was. It's been a while. 2017, I think, is when I started. And... Uh, So I'm at 500 subscribers. I'm not sure if 500 does anything uh, spectacular as far as what YouTube will do for you. Uh, but uh, I know 1,000 uh, is sort of a milestone to hit a, 
a thousand. Uh, some people have, you know, many thousands. Uh, Tucker got got thousands and thousands. Of, and uh, Kyle Oakley has thousands and thousands. Uh, Tucker may have a million. Uh, of course, they've got great content and uh, good training stuff for uh, mostly uh, foot launchers. So I hope that I cater to uh, trikers. Some of the last few videos I've talked about different flying methods. The flying for about 17 minutes. I'm over here by the an Amish uh, area. They're probably out here hunting. If I see a uh, an arrow go flying by, but it's uh, bow season right now. I'll know that uh, they don't care for me up here this high in their area. Looks like the uh, like basically just hanging there. The pole bends over quite a bit, so looks real good. There's a deer right down there. Little. this pot over this truck that's watching pull over to watch and I'm just going to drop it off down here and we're going to head for the truck We're down after a minute or an hour and two minutes. We're on the ground. 